Hey y'all, it's me Zoe here at Zoe's World. I am in the parking lot of Dollar Tree and Goodwill. Um, I got up this morning just feeling kind of blah. I'm not sick or anything like that. It has just been pouring here y'all for the last two days. Like pouring, pouring, pouring nonstop. And I'm so thankful that we are blessed and we didn't get all that snow that a lot of people got. But y'all, I have had enough of this rain. I am just over it. It just is so gloomy out and I'm not somebody that really I feel like is affected by the rain I know some people really are um, I'm not I'm more like I have things to do and I don't want to be in this mess that's more <laughs> that's more my my issue with it okay y'all that being said morning didn't start off all that great um, had a bunch of stuff come up that I wasn't expecting so I had to deal with that and you know as happens such is life so then I got on the road and I went and I sat by the post office. Um, I did get a card in the mail, so I'm going to share that with you guys. But before we get started, um, I wanted to say um, about the cards and, and the mail and stuff like that. For some reason, I don't know how it happened because I generally copy and paste everything. But there was like a completely different zip code that's not any of my zip codes for my home or my P.O. box in a bunch of the videos. And I don't know, like why I thought this was a zip code or what, but um, the actual new zip code is on all the videos. Now I went through and checked that are the correct zip code, 62882. So I just wanted to throw that out there in case you guys are mailing stuff in. I want to make sure you do have the correct zip code for the PO box. Alrighty y'all, now let's jump right in. So because I was feeling blah, I thought I need to go out and see what I can find at Dollar Tree. Um, I actually was needing a couple things at my house. A couple things I couldn't find at my local Dollar Tree. I do a lot better going to the one outside of, of Centralia. Um, however, I can't always get that way. And with it being so nasty out, I didn't want to do that. And I had to come to Centralia anyway for a few other things. So I decided I would just go ahead and come to this local one. But y'all, it must have been an okay haul because I ended up getting three pretty full, full bags. So... We're going to jump right in. I'm going to show you what I found. I did bring a glass of iced tea with me on the way in, but I guess it was just had a little bit left in. I didn't realize, and it was pretty much gone before I knew it. So I did start with getting a Welch's grape soda. I love grape soda. If I'm going to drink soda, I prefer like a grape or an orange or something like that. Strawberry. So that's the first thing I got in my Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to adjust the camera just a little. Sorry. Seems like it's moving. Okay, y'all, I'm going to scoot back. Okay, I'm scooting back. I also got a few things from Goodwill. I'll do that part of the haul second. Let's jump into Dollar Tree first because, like I said, I got some full big bags. So this very first one I got, um, and, and before we start with this Dollar Tree haul, besides the soda, of course, um, I want to let you guys know, I have some very large Timu orders coming in. They should have arrived yesterday. One of them should have. Um, when I say large, I want to say it was 29 items. Y'all, it didn't come. So I checked the, like, I checked the, um, because it told me that it was uh, in, I forget what it says, but basically that it's on its way to me. I, so then when it said it, I was going to file a credit because it didn't show up, which is fine. I love those $5 credits. Um, but I went in to see where it was actually at, and it was in New York City. I'm in Illinois. So I don't know how they thought it was going to get here yesterday. But it is what it is. They gave me a $5 credit. I'm thankful for that. So I just want to let you guys know, I have some big Timu hauls coming and a couple small ones. So... Should be here any day. I don't know when, but it is on its way, it says. Okay, <laughs> I want to just throw that out there. I know some of you guys have been waiting for the Timu. Alrighty, y'all, back to the Dollar Tree haul. So, uh, next thing I want to show you is called a rotating four claw hook. And you get two of, two of them in a package. This is what it looks like. Let's take it out just to see. I thought this might be handy to hold, like like my bras off of or like well y'all they actually have this thing no there we go I thought it was tape that was really sealed so you get two of them 
and this is what it looks like. And when they say it rotates, it spins around. So I think this would be great for like scarves, belts, your bras, tank tops, anything like that with a little strap. I think you could hang off of this. So I got that pack of two. And I did get one bonus item in this haul. Um, I'll show you that when I come to it, but everything else um, was the $1.25. Sorry for that loudness. Next item. Y'all, I had to get more of these Werther's, these cookie buttercream. These are the ones I'm talking about that I ate like that whole bag. I mean, y'all, there's not very many pieces in a bag, but still, I ate the whole bag last time in a very short period of time. <laughs> they are delicious. I highly recommend them. So I picked these up. And then, so this, these ones here say they're cookie buttercream. Then today when I was there, they had vanilla cream soft caramels. And Jack likes the soft caramels better than the others, but they didn't have the kind I normally buy him, so I got these for him to try. So I don't know what the difference is, but I guess we're going to see. Next, I got two bags of the Gardettos. I am working the next two days at the hospital. I'll be back to work tomorrow. So I'm going to try. Try, y'all. I'm terrible about making my lunch. It's just terrible. But I'm trying to get better about it. I'm going to try to make my lunch and take it with me so that I'm not spending money at the hospital. Because, y'all, I spent a fortune there, I tell you. Next thing, I picked up some of these. Y'all know these are my absolute favorite sour um, gummy bears. The hair, I don't know how you say it. Haribo gold bears. This is the sweet and sour mix. If y'all been watching my channel, Mint, you know I love sour candy. This is my favorite sour gummy bears. Because they are delicious. Yes, they are. Did you guys see the short videos? Did you like the taste test? Jamie brought back all those goodies from Tennessee when she was there from Bucky's. I've never personally been to a Bucky's. I would love to go to one, but I have not been to one. So that was pretty exciting for me. She brought me some treats back. Y'all, I've been snacking on that stuff the last two days I've been off. This next thing, I've never tried these before, so I went ahead and got these small bags in the hopes that if I like them, I'll buy a big bag at the grocery store. So it's candy pop popcorn. I love me some popcorn. Um, this is the Snickers, made with Snickers candy pieces. And I thought, why not? And y'all, I've had people mention to me that this is such a small portion. It is a small portion. But I think if you want to try something but before you go and buy a great big bag of it, this is a good option for you. And if you're somebody like me that works somewhere that, like, unless you do bring your lunch or whatever. So if I make a sandwich, I can take one of these bags with me. Um, it's a lot more affordable than buying a bag out of the vending machine even. Or out of the cafeteria. So this is something that I'm excited to try. Okay, then I also found the Candy Pop Popcorn M&M and Minis. So that also sounds yummy. And these bags are 1.25 ounces. Okay. Then I picked up the uh, Pop Popcorn Fruity Pebbles. They had the three different ones, and I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and try all three. So I thought what I would do is I will do these on a taste test for you guys on another video and tell you guys what I think. I'll have Jamie do it with me if she's there. Okay, y'all, that's all those flavors. Then, I've never tried these. I don't know how good they're going to be or if I'm even going to like them. But I thought maybe if I put them on like a flour tortilla and maybe a little bit of cheese or lettuce or whatever... I might like it, so I'm going to give it a go for to make a no lunch. I got the Wild Caught Light Tuna Dill Tuna Salad. And then I also got the Wild Caught Tuna Seasoned with Mediterranean Herbs and Spices. And even if I make some toast or something... And take it with me and then make the sandwich at lunchtime. And I got the lemon pepper. So I thought I would go ahead and try these and see how they taste. Just an option for lunch. 
Okay, y'all, then I found these large containers. I got two of them here. They're big. They're deep. They're the Surefresh brand, and they hold, it says 25 cups, 200 full ounces. They're, that's how deep they are. And I thought these are perfect if you want to use them in your pantry, um, whether it be for noodles or um, flour, sugar, or if you're like me and you love to make like, I love that ambrosia salad. This is deep, but it's nice and compact. So I think that might be something nice that I can make it in and then store it in the fridge or, you know, and then dip it out as I want you to take to work in my smaller containers. So I got two of those. They do come with the lids. Really excited about these. I think these are going to be very handy. And even if you didn't want to use them in a food sense, they're really nice containers. You could use them in a closet. Um, wherever, really. Let me throw this stuff back in this bag real quick, and then we'll move on to the next big bag. While I'm doing this, how is everybody doing? Are y'all gloomy at all because of this weather? Like I said, I've got nothing to be gloomy about. I'm so very thankful we did not get all that snow that so many places did get. We got the pretty dusting, which is right up my alley. But um, I love the saying in the Gilmore Girls TV show. She says, she smells snow. I can actually smell snow. It, it has a different smell to me, I feel like. But, and she says, everything magical happens when it snows. That has not been my experience, y'all. I actually do love snow. I think it's beautiful. But as I'm getting older, it's not so much the snow. I actually love the snow. I think it's so pretty. It's all the ice in that that a lot of time comes with it. So that's what I don't like. I don't like being out in it. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to go on to the next one. Oh, somebody's honking in this parking lot. Oh, goodness. This is another big bag, y'all. Hope y'all grabbed a drink. We might be on here a hot minute. I've been so thirsty lately. I don't know why. Okay. I purchased another one of these bags. You might have seen it in a recent haul. Um, I purchased the second one. It's, it's for another event at work. I just think this bag is so pretty. And they don't have a lot of good options in this size of a bag. It's not too small. It's not too big. So I really liked it. So I went ahead and got another one. Then, this is an old trusty one. I've been doing a lot with my junk journaling lately. I don't know if you guys saw those short videos. We all comment in the comments. I know some of y'all like to see those. I am doing them a little bit as I can kind of thing, videos for you. Um, trying to show y'all as I go. But let me know, do you guys like that? Or do you? would you rather I didn't do those? Let me know in the video, in the, in the comments, please. But that's my favorite glue as far as gluing stuff into my junk journal. Next thing, this is always a repurchase for me. It's the 15 count paper plates. We usually just use these for like sandwiches and stuff. And um, you can get the 15 count, which is smaller. And it's not sauce, it's not like a saucer size, it's still a plate size. Or you can get the bigger ones that you get a 10 count. We get the 15 count ones and the smaller ones. Like I said, it's not as tiny as a saucer, it's still a good size plate. Um, it's to be exact, 8.62 inches. Um, but we mainly just use those for a sandwich. So it's, it's perfect for sandwiches. And we got two of those. And then if you guys seen recently in another video I did or a couple videos, I've been purchasing them every time I go to the store because I think they're such a great value. These are the home essentials, glass storage containers. I've been showing you the little rectangular ones I've been getting today. When I went, they had round ones. So this is them. They are glass with a plastic lid. And it does say, if you didn't see the other ones, it says they're microwave, dishwasher, and freezer safe. This is 13.5 ounces. So I love that you can put them in the freezer, the microwave. I got two gray and two blue. That's the only two colors I've seen them in. Now today they had an actual square one, but it was very small. It was even tinier than the rectangular one I showed you guys. So I opted not to get that because I wasn't sure how much use I would get out of it. But that is out there if you guys are searching for those. So two glass rounds in the gray and two glass rounds in the blue. 
Then I picked up another pair of these socks. This is to go in one of the gift bags we're doing for work. These are just such amazing soft socks to walk around in your house. And they've got the little nubby so you don't slide. Then uh, today when I went, I love these Airwick fresheners. I really mainly only use them back in my laundry area because I have a plug-in right there. I should use them in more places in my house because I have a few of these plug-in, the burner things. Um, I just don't make a practice of doing it. I don't know why, but I don't. But I always use one back by my laundry. Now these, when you get them, just so you know, they're not as full as like the normal ones you buy at like Walmart or whatever. But it says you do get, it says it's up to 15 days. It's supposed to be useful up to 15 days. It's 0.27 full ounces. So it's not as full, I don't think, as the other ones. But I got this one today. It is a refreshing, I was looking at it, it says it's made with essential oils. Refreshing watermelon and berries. I got that one. And then I also got the fresh linen. So like I said, I just used those back by my laundry, but I went ahead and picked them up since I saw them there. Okay, let me take this stuff out. Okay, y'all, let me see here. This next item I found, it says Love Grows here. This was over in the Valentine's section, but I loved it because it looks like an old barn, and I love old barn stuff. I think it's so adorable. It has like a clear handle. And we love these type of like, what do they call them? Are they calling them like a spatula? Yeah. Silicone spatula. They're just, they work great for so many things. And this is a big one, not, not one of the minis that they usually carry. So let's pick that up. They had the cutest cookie jar inside Goodwill. It was an old barn, which I would have loved to have had. But they were trying to sell it for $19.99, y'all. In Goodwill. I was like, nope, not doing it. Mm -mm. I Since they've changed their whole pricing the way they do now, it's so much more expensive. I do not buy a whole lot there. I do usually find a few good things I, that I feel like I will, I'll pay the money for kind of thing. But, you know, I think that's crazy. Okay, this next thing, it says it's Ryan's World. I don't have little kids, so I don't know what Ryan's World is. You guys might know. But they had this five pairs of socks shoe size seven and a half to three and a half i'm hoping these fit jamie's nephew amy's son my friends i hope they fit him but you guys a five pack of socks these no show socks for a dollar 25 i thought that was great and i just went ahead and got them i'm hoping they'll fit him he's five years old so we'll see but if they don't fit him i can always donate them okay Let's see a few more things trying to put stuff away as we go then i picked up this cleaning goo i purchased this before off of timu actually but they had this today and it's just to get into like crevices of like your keyboards and your car all the little uh nicks and crannies it gets nasty and y'all i don't know if you remember or if you saw that video where a coca-cola exploded in my car it is still sticky everywhere. I bought all those wipes. I bought more today. You're going to see them in one of these bags. I'm slowly trying to get through the mess. I know it's going to definitely have to be detailed because it's so nasty. But I thought maybe that would help get into some of the tight spots that I can't get those towelettes down into. And it's just like a goo. It's like um, it's like a liquid. And when you take it out, it's almost like slime. You take it out and you can rub it in those areas. And that kind of attracts all the like dust and stuff. Okay, this next thing I got is Power Stick for Her, aluminum free. It's peony coconut deodorant. It's a stick deodorant. I wanted to smell all of this. I didn't do it in the store. If I can get the lid off. Oh, yeah, y'all, that smells so good. So I used to buy Suave um, deodorant in the spray. It's my favorite deodorant ever. It was powder scent. I loved it. And it just got to where, number one, they changed the packaging. It seems smaller. I don't know if that's truly the case, but it seems smaller, number one. Number two, it has become astronomical in price, like insane. And I I think that's nuts. Like, I just think that's totally 
unacceptable. <laughs> I know there's inflation and all that. Y'all can't tell me it takes that much more to make that. And then, um, and I know there's other costs involved there, obviously, but I just still think that there's some things that they're just getting ridiculous on. Okay, y'all. That was bad, too. We got another bag, and then we'll go to Goodwill. But I had been buying. They had... Oh, okay, so let me start by saying, not last year, but the year before, I had a breast cancer scare. I had... They had found, like, a, a lump or whatever when I had my mammogram. And so I had to get a biopsy done. Well, when I got the biopsy done, it ended up coming back. Everything was fine. That was such a blessing. Thank you, Lord. But, um... That one of the things that the technicians there said is you really need to try to get an aluminum free deodorant. Well, the one I've been using for years that they've priced so high now, it is not aluminum free. So I started looking at Dollar Tree, different places. Oh, I first went to that native deodorant. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's pretty pricey too, but I thought for my health or whatever, I will buy it. And I do like that native deodorant. But I thought, okay, do I want to spend this kind of money on deodorant? Like really so I um a lady's getting into her car next to me she kind of looked at me like what is she doing <laughs> it's pretty crowded here today but I started looking at Goodwill or Goodwill Dollar Tree just to see if like what their deodorants would do would they work and I was concerned at first because I was like I don't want to get this aluminum free is it gonna keep me not stinking kind of thing <laughs> you know <laughs> but I tried a few, and I wasn't sure at first, and then I've tried a couple other ones. I am really liking that Power Stick brand. It is aluminum-free, and it is, um, it seems to work all day, so I really do like it. I've been using, like, they have one there at Dollar Tree called Cucumber Melon, and um, I do like the Cucumber Melon, but I, um, I like trying different things all the time, so when I've seen this, um, this scent today I thought I'd go ahead and give it a go so I'm excited about that um if you guys see me looking around it's because these people are walking by and they're staring at me like what is she doing talking to herself <laughs> but um I like that I can find an affordable deodorant that is aluminum free and it does actually work for a dollar 25 so that's what I've been doing I haven't been spending that crazy amount of money because I just think that that's insane <laughs> so that's just my thought on it Alrighty, y'all. Next, let's go on to the next bag here. And then we'll hit hit the Goodwill stuff. Okay. Another big one. So as I said, my poor car is so sticky still. Picked up another two-pack of these. You get 40 in each package, and you get a two-pack for $1.25. So it's excellent, and these do work. I've already been using them in here. There's just so much... You would not think a, a can of Coca-Cola could cause that much damage. You just wouldn't think that, but it does. It's horrible. Okay. Next thing I got was this um, paint set. It's just like a little mini, but it came with some brushes, little sponge brushes. I use these all the time to craft with and stuff, and I needed this small roller. I didn't necessarily need this part. I've got these already. I don't use, per se, that kind. But I needed the actual roller part. So I picked that up for $1.25 and it's got all that extra stuff. So I'll use it somewhere. And then this next item I got. And I'm going to start sticking all you guys' Valentine's cards in it. Until it's time to do the drawing. And it says hearts and hugs. And I think it's really cute. It's pink, my favorite color. So I picked that up for $1.25. And the very last item is the bonus item. And I just think this is so stinking cute and it's so incredibly soft. It is the printed plush throw. And it basically has the conversation hearts all over it. It was $5 in the plus section. And y'all, I just think it's so pretty. It's got like this pink pinstripe background, but then it's got all the little conversation hearts all over it, if you can see that on the picture. So adorable. So I cannot wait to use this. I think it's so pretty and it's so stinking soft. So that is everything that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I already showed you my grape soda. Okay, y'all. 
Now let's move on over to Goodwill. We're actually making really good time. So I picked up these jeans. I wear like an 1820 in jeans. These are called Apartment 9 is the brand. They are boot cut style, which is what I like. And they have this cute, these cute pockets on the back. And I got these y'all for $6.30. So I picked up that pair, pair of jeans. Well, how well you can see them in here but they're they're very nice like they look like they've hardly been worn ever okay then i mentioned y'all before i love any kind of reference or information type of book i found this book called who knew Ten Thousand and One and easy easy solutions to everyday problems and i kind of skimmed through it and there's all kinds of just all kinds of crazy things that you wouldn't even think of and I got this for $1.93. Today's color was actually red. So it was 75% off today. Like they start at like 25% off and then they go up. And uh, I got one more thing, y'all. And today it was 75%. And I was like, oh, but I didn't find anything in the red section. This next item was $2.83. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the bicycle brand playing cards. This is a little metal tin, and it's got little like holly berries and stuff around it, like it was a Christmas edition or something. But it came with, I love the little tin to keep them in. It came with two packs of cards, one that's never been opened, and then there's this one. I don't know if all the cards are there or not. I'll have to check it when I get home. But I really like the tin to just keep them in, to store them in. Even if you use these cards up or whatever, they you lose one or whatever, you can always put two new packs of cards in here. So I really like that. And $2.83 is what I paid for it. And this is the back of it. Alrighty, y'all. Somebody is playing music in the background. And I'm going to have to talk really loud because I don't want YouTube to ding me thinking I'm trying to play music on the video. So that is it for y'all today. Um, this is all of our haul. I hope you guys are doing fabulous. Sorry to rush off of here, but again, someone's blinging their stereo very, very loud in their car. Um, and I need to probably grab Jack and I something to eat since I've been gone for several hours and he's probably starving at this point. So <laughs> I'm going to grab something just quick to go and take home. But that's it for today, y'all. I hope you're doing great. I hope you are blessed, having a blessed week. And I will see you guys soon. Look forward to that Timu haul. It's coming, y'all. As soon as it gets here, I'll be sharing it with you. So I'll see y'all soon. Bye.